to Bound the Whale here with Onigiri, and today we have for you 10 cursed food combinations that you guys chose for us. Now remember to click that funny bell button, like, comment, and subscribe. Now to our sponsors. That was actually a really good one. Let's try the melted chocolate on the cheese pizza. I just put a bunch of Hershey cubes on the pizza and threw it in the air fryer, but I don't understand why they didn't melt. If I preheat my pizza anymore, I wouldn't be like legit eating crackers. Well, cheers to that, I guess. Yep, that tastes like It's so good. I'm gonna set it aside for the next person because who am I? Right, right, right. All, all the good food. I'm gonna save the edges with the chocolate for you guys, and I'm just gonna take another right. bite of the normal right. part. I mean, the, right. the cringe right. part. I'm gonna give the chocolate pizza an F minus. Let's try all the watermelon combos. So, watermelon okay. mustard and watermelon soy sauce. I feel like nothing will taste bad with watermelon. Cheers. Dink. 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 <laughs> you know, like nothing will taste bad with watermelon. Wait, I liked it though. <laughs> what does that say about me? I'm gonna give this a, a S tier. You ready for the mustard though? How much mustard is normal? Is this a normal amount? Wait, yeah, did I use the wrong mustard? But I just have classic yellow mustard. Is that not the right mustard? I have Dijon, but it should be the same. I don't think they Oh, damn. She's high me. class. Sorry, I live in poverty. <laughs> okay, cheers. Let's try. <laughs> Okay, better than the soy sauce. Really? I, I did not like it. And the tanginess worked okay with the watermelon, but I don't think I loved it. It was maybe like a C tier or D tier. It's not very harmonious as opposed to soy sauce and watermelon. It was too overwhelming. I don't like it. There's strawberry and cheese sauce and there's strawberry and garlic. I don't know what cheese sauce is, so I just got nacho cheese dip. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm literally doing the acupuncture thing, so I don't throw up. Ah! Wait a minute. I have thought it was not bad. It's definitely not like amazing, but I would say this is above soy sauce watermelon. So like C tier for me. That is a uh, Z tier. One whole clove of raw garlic. Okay. And a whole bite of your strawberry. We're gonna have like gaseous breath after this. Anyone wanna okay. kiss me? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hated it, Gary. So I hated it so much, Gary. <laughs> That's got to be F tier. Pickles and peanut butter, and then pickles, cheese, and jam. Honestly, I'd be drinking this. Sh Cheers. You like pickle butter? <sighs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I drank it yesterday for stream because I was using pickles for something else, and everyone laughed at me. They thought it was disgusting. Your chat is not based. Let's do pickles like, and it, peanut it, butter first. Tatakimasu. <laughs> I do not like how the peanut butter is separating from the pickle. <laughs> it wants to like fly away. I'm gonna put that one in C tier. C for me, it's not as bad. So you grab your slice of like American cheese, you put your pickle inside, and then you put some jam on it. What? Okay. Is that? <laughs> I'm ready, chat. Cheers. <laughs> uh, mm. What are your thoughts, pal? What? I kind of like it. <laughs> So far, we haven't agreed on anything. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in A. Really? I was gonna put it in like C or D. <laughs> hey, what happened? My room smells so fucking bad. What does your room smell it smells like? Smells like fucking garlic, pickles, peanut butter, and just fucking nasty. Wait, you're not doing this in your kitchen? You're doing this in your room? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, dear God. They're it's... gonna crack the window. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, what happened here? <laughs> It's Bobo. Remember my last video? You don't want to. Oh, no, I, I don't, don't care. care. I asked you to comment which food mascot you thought was S tier and why for a chance to show up in this video. And let me just say, they sure are the comments of all time. Y'all are not giving enough credit to the toaster, man. Add some dildos in those slots and that big boy is going to town on you for days. Double penetration style even. If you want to get real kinky with it, get a metal c*** for some spicy shocks. The sound of a toaster popping up will be burned into your lustful brain, yearning to be used by him again. Like, look at his damn face. He knows you want more and is so smug about it.
Um, okay. You really want that toaster, huh? I would smash the Pringles man, but I'm scared of accidentally calling him the Monopoly man while doing it. That would make the rest of the night awkward. Also, I would not smash Tootsie Pop Owl. He would just one, a two, a three crunch it right off. I totally forgot that wasn't part of the advertisement. <laughs> Can't say I'd go gay for any of the dudes, but Wendy, yeah, why not? She'd be spicy as her nuggets in bed and cuddle after warming me like chili on a cold day. Also, their Baconator is bomb, <laughs> but I don't want to analogy bacon for a sex act. Damn, bro listed their whole menu and what that would mean in bed. What the hell? <laughs> Tony S tier. He's canonically a family man. I'm willing to be a home wrecker for all that. Bro has a wife and kids? Have I been watching the wrong commercials? What? Starbucks siren. It originally had to be rebranded because someone thought showing booba on a coffee cup was a good idea. What? They got rid of that? What the hell? That's like free marketing. Not to mention the pose the Starbucks siren is in. Come on, bruv. The coffee isn't the only thing that's hot. I'm not gonna lie. Growing up, I thought the Starbucks siren was the Statue of Liberty. I don't think I got corrected until, like, late high school. 100% <laughs> smash the Sugar Puffs Honey Monster. Big, fuzzy, seven-foot-tall Chad with a voice so deep it'll have your nethers vibrating with every word. How could I say no? <laughs> Honestly, I'd f a seven-foot-tall fuzzy monster and a deep-ass voice. Damn, you know it's big. <laughs> Tony the Tiger is absolutely S-tier. Whoever marries that man is set for life. An energetic partner that will always support you and then... <laughs> in your ear at night. Damn! There's a lot of Tony the Tiger features in the comments section. <laughs> Other than Wendy, I would definitely choose the mom from the Japanese McDonald's commercial. Miss Chiquita would be a good side woman or maid. I can't believe bro said that! It's definitely Jack in the box. Nothing comes close to him. He's ripped, a businessman. He shitposted about other companies before it was in fashion. Great sense of humor, massive cock, and great deals. Also, he's a loving dad, an absolute dilf, hands down. And if anyone begs to differ, rips the shirt off. Do something about it. Oh, the way I never knew Jack in the box was so hot. He reminds me of Patrick Bateman and... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I want Colonel Sanders to pound my tight boy pussy until I pass out from exhaustion. <laughs> this one wins the most horrific comment I've ever been forced to read against my will ever. Thank you. <laughs> All right, land lovers, back to the video. What are we eating? <laughs> Cheetos and milk, but I'm just breaking it down to smaller chunks like cereal. <laughs> no! <laughs> No! I have to do no, that, man! Ew, this is room temperature milk, really too. Like I'm gonna it. throw up. This is the strat. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Out of this just like a taste right like one big spoonful one big spoonful but did you try it already i think she tried it already okay my turn bottoms up bitches. there's a tear rolling down my eye right now that was so fucking gross that was so vile that, mine was disgusting we can do cheese curds and mayo yeah it's just like half a burger i'll make a blunt you guys are gonna watch me roll for the first time kind of intimate wait Roll? Uh, like, gotcha. Yeah. Who are you rolling for? I'm pulling for uh Bob Marley. Bar who? <laughs> Barley. Jay. She plays gotcha clean. games while we're eating. The evil Kush. The evil Kush, like cushion. Uh huh. Like a couch. Oh yeah. There's a kitchen character in the shape of a couch. I don't know, just eat the cheese. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know why you're rolling for stuff when we're like in the <laughs> middle of the food video. <laughs> Salty. Salty. I will say B. That was right. good. Now I'll put in B too. We have tuna salad mixed with fruit punch. <laughs> that actually sounded so vile to me. That was a great idea. But I literally saw some lady on a cooking show teach it. It can't be bad if it's on a cooking show, right? Uh-huh. So what I'm gonna do, chat, and this is the strat, I'm just gonna put it in this bowl. I don't wanna like ruin the tuna salad. What if I wanna have this with like chips later? So based on the video that I watched, we're not trying to drown the tuna salad. We're just seasoning it with fruit punch. Like a little splash, right? Right. We still should have it be a little chunky. 
the normal tuna salad consistency. That is like Gary, uh, sure he poured it in before you said it. Uh, you can tell her. Cat, what are <laughs> you talking her. about, bro? I've been a five star chef before they even coined the term. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. Okay, three, two, one. Hold on. Hold on. Come back to me. Let me just grab a second bite. To yeah, yeah. Let me take another bite. I think I get it. When I first put it in my mouth, I almost gagged it out. But I persevered, I pushed through, and I kept on chewing that baby. Honestly, you just mostly taste the tuna salad. You don't even taste like- We've all been there. Necessarily. I can give this an A. I think I, I'll I give it an A too, a. honestly. Oreos and mayo. I think that was a pregnancy craving thing. Are mayo they pregnant with crazy. like the devil spawn? Like, why would you eat this? You say that now, but in the future, if and when you, you yourself, you know, have a little whale bubbling inside of you and you're- craving this everyone play the clip back me in the ultrasound room pull up the vod right now <laughs> oh hell no man what the fuck you ready for the bite of mario oh All i'm right. ready three two one Why would anyone want to do this? It tasted yeah, like an crunchy. Oreo with a fart bomb inside it, and it was mm. sour. I got this from McDonald's today. Hey. Oh, shit. Chad, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> you can probably just get the chips and scrape off the sides. Hey. Uh. Like a spoon. <clears throat> She's trying her best. It's ice cream and chips, guys. It's not rocket science. It's just grab your chip, you, put, you scrape it along the edge of your ice cream like a spoon. It's not hard. What is happening right now? What, what is these sounds that are coming out of now? A few moments later. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Three, two, one. Damn. S tier, 100%. Did you know the reason why you gag if you hear someone else gag is because your brain has something called mirror neurons that causes you to feel empathy and share that feeling of disgust. Throw up, throw up, throw up. Throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. Anyways, comment below the nastiest thing you've ever eaten for a chance to show up in my next video. Bye!